Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as Egypt. So, I'm going to give you a disclaimer. We win the game next turn. Now, I didn't realize this. I didn't expect this. But we will win the game. Now, I want to make this episode a little longer than less than a minute or 30 seconds. So, what we're going to do is that this will be the last episode. But, I want to take out Attila first. I don't really care for William, William of Orange, because he's a pretty good guy. But we will end the ca this campaign by taking out Attila. See, and here we go, and we have won. Alright, so you try triumph over your foes through the art of diplomacy. Your cunning and wisdom have earned you great world friends and divided and sown confusion amongst your enemies. Forever will you be remembered as the leader who brought peace to a very to a weary world. So, obviously, it's basically a minute so far. And that's not long enough for an episode, and I really feel... I feel a lot of things. But for right now, I feel that we're not really done here. I want to take out Attila. Because that's, in my opinion, that's what we've been really working for. Actually, you guys try to get down here too. Uh, you guys can stay there. I want to take out Attila. That's what I want. So we won, basically, because I had this guy over here. Now, yes, I didn't realize that Delicates to win World Leader Proposal 35, I have 36. I didn't realize that last time, but that's okay. I do want to play a little more Civ, just because I find this to be so, I don't know, relaxing to a degree. I find it fairly relaxing, almost therapeutic, and I don't, I don't, even, I don't even use therapy. So, so, stick with me here, we're going to have a good time together, we're going to get ready to declare war on Attila. As I'm looking for my battleship, that will be the last thing I need before I attack with de Janeiro, and as we finish up in Oxford University. Oh, and we can do this. So we can feel extra good about it. Alright, so I didn't so I made a recording of this earlier, but I didn't realize that I would win within one turn. So that, that that's the worst thing about playing Sith. You're not exactly sure when you're gonna win, even though the way I won using the world leader mechanic made probably the most sense. So Actually, I could have watched that to see if I would have become world leader. And it was inevitable for me too, anyways. But, you know, I wasn't paying attention, and that was my fault. So what we're going to do, we're going to send you up here, since it'll take a few more turns for us to actually get over there. <clears throat> we'll send our battleship over here to see what's going on. Have a good time. You get in the water. I thought we had more turns before I came, became world leader. And we got our free technology. Uh, I'm not sure from what. I'm really not paying attention, apparently. But what do we want next? <clears throat> well, we get ballistics or combustion. Do we want the anti-tank gun and tank or the, and the pentagon or radar? I'm going to go with radar, so we're going to go with the ballistics. And so we get to that to get to radar a little bit quicker. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, leashed. You can have an opera house. Choose production in Thebes. So we built an Oxford. Oh, we built Oxford University, which gave us a free technology. Awesome. We need three opera houses for that, or we need 11 police stations, so I don't feel bad about settling some of those units now. We definitely want a hotel for a little bit more culture, and a factory which sounds very nice as well right now. You guys get over here as fast as you can. I'm going to settle whatever cities we have around here next. I do know we had a set settler down here. They'll come over here. And then we had a settler on one of these islands out here. Yes, we do. Very cool. And we can purchase pretty much everything because we almost have 7,800 gold. At least we did after or before I bought the monument. We need a harbor. We need a workshop. We need a factory as well as a seaport. And we bought the harbor already. A lighthouse. No, we don't need a lighthouse. An opera house. And we'll also buy a granary so we can build stuff faster. And a shrine. Because who doesn't love shrines? Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. So, your proposal to the United Nations is a blatant attack on our interests. Well, I don't care. You're our final goal. I could take out William of Orange, but since we've already won, and I've been talking about taking over Attila, that's really what I think will be best. Oh, great merchant was born. Awesome. Thank you very much. I will use him to the best of my abilities where I don't know where. Well, we're going to attack Rio de Janeiro, and I want to make sure that these guys, that city I'm going to build, has enough 
in gold when it first pops up. And we got a city connection, increased influence, a burial tomb. Memphis needs a hotel. We need a hotel here as well. You know all the important things in life. Actually, you're almost ready to go. I'm actually going to go ahead and put you guys in the water since it takes a turn anyways. Uh, yeah, just come over here. And then you will come to Rio. That'll take a few turns. Do we have another battleship coming? No, we really don't. So actually, I'm going to convert someone else. Let's convert a Bogata. It's fine with me. Next turn, we will attack. Since we should have our artillery ready to go next turn, potentially. Works has begun a hotel. City becomes religious. Awesome. And a new unit from Bucharest, including... Not... Wait, where? I'm looking up there. Uh, yes. You are very nice. Hold on for now. Oh, we have a, a scientist. Wow. If we have a scientist, I'm going to get to radar, and I'm just going to use him since we're not going to be here for much longer. Two turns until that's done. <clears throat> Let's get penicillin because we're already trying to complete it anyways. Buto, which we just basically found, will get a burial tomb. You guys will build a battleship because screw it, why not? Stadium because screw it, why not? A broadcast tower. Uh, museum. Sounds very good at this time of year. Now, with you guys, I can't really hit Rio, but there's really not much I can do because they took all of this. Should have waited to move into here, but that's still jungles and hills. Oh, uh, actually, before we do that, we're not quite set up, but now we are. Oh, we'll go to war, and they are trading with us a little bit, but that's okay. Goodbye. Oh, you still have enough? You still don't have enough. So you can move, you can capture them. Can you bomb anything? No. Oh, actually, you're gonna move out then. Which is fine. Pull you up here. Doesn't look like anyone's close to Rio. Pull you up here. Because I can put my guy here. Make him take a nap. Make you go blow these guys up. Make you guys come over here. And blow them up as well. If I do that, I shouldn't have anything up there. You come over here for now. Hang out. And y'all will come... Hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, I don't actually have that many physical... By physical, I mean, like, melee units around here. Actually, I'm going to send you guys this way as well. So I'm going to need you to take out the city. I'm going to move you over here. Cool. Oh, we have our settlers still coming this direction. Fine with me. A prophet will come down to Bogata. And you will begin bombing the heck out of this thingamabob. And you can come over here. Should be good enough. Alright. And Attila still trying to kill William. Fine enough with me. I think Attila... Yeah, Attila doesn't even have its capital. William has a capital. Oh good, you attack that. And I do have some tea here, so... Kind of nice to drink. You know, still kind of, kind of hot. Ooh. No, thank you. Oh, all oh, right, Manila. Manila, good job. So let's see. We have unit promotion. An enemy has been spotted in our territory. Oh, okay, go and blow those guys up. You will come to here for now. You will do that. You will move faster so we can get to other areas faster like this. And we have a worker, so you can go back and build whatever you feel like. You will set up shop and make them go boom. You will set up shop to make them go boom. And you can try not to die. You will come here. You will get attacked. But I'm saving them there so we can rip up the ground from our HP and then attack them again. Come over here. Yeah, they don't really have that many units. Which is good. Go boom, go, make them go boom, make them go boom, make them go boom, make them go boom even more. Make yourself set up here, make them go boom because we can, and you'll go into the water to make them go boom. Alright, rated. Social policy, very nice. Well, 25% attack bonus to all military units for the first 50 turns after this policy is adopted. Well, I just ruined that. Uh, I don't even have to finish all, these, all this stuff, so... Let's start a new policy yet, even though we've already won the game. Piety, shrines and temples in half the time as usual. Great mosque. Commerce gives us more gold output. Aesthetics gives you 
so that you earn things a little bit faster. Exploration gives you plus one movement for naval units and plus one sight for naval combat units. Rationalism gives you plus ten percent science when Empire is happy, and honor gives you a bonus against the barbarians and when they spawn. And culture when you kill barbarians. Well, those all suck right now, but let's get some more science. And that'll go towards radar. You will build a stadium because I said so. You will build a stadium because I also said so. You will build a hotel because there's honestly no reason for you not to. Even though there probably are better things you could build. You will come over here. And next turn we will take Rio de Janeiro. Awesome. And my infantry is getting attacked. Totally fine with me. And the cavalry is getting attacked. They didn't lose that much HP. 25, that's an average amount. Manila's killing a couple Attila or Anik Caravellos. Bogata is now finally Islamic, like they should be. And I'm gonna bomb the living hell out of you guys. Let's see. City connection between Heloplius and Thieves has been re-established. And we shall use our infantry to take Rio. Please don't die on the way there, guys. Alright, very nice. We are just going to go straight up and create a puppet. We have 68 happiness. Good lord. Let's see how long it takes for me to take out Groningen. You guys will heal. You guys will try to make it over here. Artillery, well, we want our settlers over here because I want a coastal province. And artillery will do a bang up job right here as we continue to murder. Or, can we... I want to save the city for one more turn. I want to attack it next turn. I want to see what would happen. Alright, so you're over here. You can replace that guy when they're ready. Over here. And then factory. Hotel. Armory. Doesn't even matter. And they're still killing my cavalry. Whatever. Oh, they're really trying to blow them up. Oh, I actually did quite a bit of damage. Maybe I should have attacked. That's okay. Oh, we built New Schwanstein. That's a lot of happiness. Is one of the most That's a lot of culture. Alright, you guys heal up. You guys get down to Rio. Go ahead and bomb them one more time. You will rip up the ground and then cause mass casualties, but I want to... There's really no point to do all the rest of the stuff. And... We took it, and they're gone. Awesome, we're going to create a puppet, and it's just me and William left. So... I don't really see a point of me attacking anymore. I really wanted to kill off Attila because I thought they would early on. And yes, if you stuck with me through this entire time, I will say thank you very much. I want to thank everyone for watching because this is where I will end the episode. Mostly because I didn't expect me to win in the first 30 seconds. But it's just me and my 6 billion city-states versus William, which I really don't see no any point <clears throat> Excuse me, in continuing the fight. Seeing as William, they don't really... William doesn't really like me, but... I don't think we'll open borders. I, I, think, I think we'll be okay. We can live in peace, live in peace forever with me basically dominating whatever they do. So with that in mind, guys, uh, I want to say thank you again. Uh, thanks for watching this little series. I know this was supposed to be over by the time the Hoi 4 Man Guns DLC came out, but obviously that didn't happen. But I stuck through this, and I honestly really enjoyed playing this because I haven't played Civ in a very long time. So, anyways, thanks again for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow or later today as we continue playing as the United States and Hearts of Iron Fours Man the Gun DLC Democracy Edition. See you later, guys.